Hey guys, Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. As you can see, we're turning the Weber into a pizza making machine. I will tell you what, your friends are gonna think you have an Italian pizza oven in your backyard when we get done with today's recipe. Simple ingredients from the pizza dough on, I'll tell you what, we're gonna set our pizza stone out on that Weber, get it preheated up to that 475 to 500 degrees. We're gonna launch a beautiful pizza, catch a beautiful pizza, and eat a fantastic pizza. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Let's get cooking. All right, time to fire up the Weber. Today's cooking temp, 475 to 500 degrees. Now, we added the pizza stone, and my chef's tip for you, I like to add this while the grill heats up. That way the pizza stone comes up to temperature with the grill. So we'll go ahead and close it. We'll be ready to go. All right, let's walk through ingredients today. So we've got one 12 ounce pizza dough ball, and this is a convenience dough that we bought at our local grocery store. They work out just fantastic. Now, the key on this, let it rest for about an hour to an hour and a half ahead of time. You can see we've got it covered to make sure it doesn't form a skin. A little bit of pizza flour or all-purpose flour to help the board and the pizza peel. Look at that, got some of our favorite pizza sauce. We've got some uh, whole milk mozzarella. It's gonna melt out beautifully, some sweet, and hot Italian sausage, which is gonna be fantastic. Some of those little sweet peppers, these guys right here, we just sliced them up nice and thin. Those are gonna give a beautiful sweetness and a nice crunch. A Little bit of Parmesan here, that's gonna give that salt finish and nice cheese. We have some fresh basil, and then we've got, look at this here, fishy fishy. Also amazing for pizza pizza. I'll tell you, that's fantastic. Got our pizza peel ready. We are all set on our cutting board. It is time to show you how to build the best pizza. First thing we want to do is make sure that pizza dough is nice and pliable. And you can see we've rested it well. So we'll go ahead now, get this all stretched out, and then I'm going to flour my pizza peel because that's going to help make sure that that pizza dough doesn't stick. So come on up here. Check this out. Here's what we're doing next. Look at this. I like to just kind of let that dough hang a little bit. Sometimes the weight of the pizza dough works out really good, and then I will stretch it uh, around the edges as well and just kind of let, like I said, the weight of it do its thing. Then... We'll go under it. We're gonna knuckle it a little bit. So we're gonna roll our knuckles under here to kind of help stretch that pizza dough. Hey, if you want, give it a toss. I mean, years and years of practice has made that pretty solid. Now, I'm gonna get that as thin as I can. And then what I'm going to do, a little bit of pizza flour on here, not much. Now, I will tell you what, time is of the essence. We wanna build this nice and fast because if your dough gets wet, that spot is going to stick to the peel. We're gonna have issues. So, a little bit of our pizza sauce. We'll spread this within about an inch of the outside edge just so we get a nice little uh, bit of clear edge because we have a surprise for you at the end. We have a very Colorado thing we're gonna do with this pizza. Now, ingredient-wise, you guys, less is more. So go with less ingredients. You're gonna have a much better pizza and then you don't have to worry about the uh, doughiness in the center. So we'll add that mozzarella cheese, get that all done, get all that down there. And then a little bit of that hot and sweet Italian sausage. That makes for an absolutely perfect pie, right? Oh, I'm excited. This is gonna be such a good recipe. Then a little bit of those peppers, Get those guys in here, those sweet peppers do just a really amazing job getting everything going. And then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese for that final pinch of salt. Now, let's head out to the Weber. We are all preheated and ready to go. We're gonna save the basil and the fishy fishy for the garnish garnish. All right, chef's tip, while you're carrying the pizza to the grill, give it a little wiggle. See how it moves nice and easy? That is perfect. Look at this. Time to launch that. Ho, ho, ho. All right, we'll close the lid. We are gonna cook this now to our desired doneness. We're gonna check in at about seven minutes and see where we're at. Here we are at seven minutes, and I just like to check it real quick. I'm gonna see how everything is doing. Let's take a peek at the crust as well. Look at that well-developed crust. Now, we're gonna go ahead and close it. I say about 10 to 15 minutes of total cook time, depending on how dark you like the edges or how brown you like the cheese. So we'll get this closed. We'll come back again and check it at the 10 minute mark. Here we are, 10 minute mark. Look at that beautiful, beautiful crust. We're done. Let's get this guy off. We call this catching. We'll catch the pizza and I'll see you in the kitchen. 10 minutes total cook time for this absolute beauty. So we went ahead and garnished it. I did some of that hand-torn basil. I did a little bit of that fishy fishy, which is a great herb rub as well for pizzas. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, but I'm gonna give you a little tip. If you're looking to take your pizza to the next level, honey, on pizza is fantastic. We've got a little bit of our fire honey here. We'll turn that upside down. Now we'll go ahead and cut this because I don't know, pizza's life and 
I'm excited about this quality control more than I normally am just because, you know, I like pizza. But we'll get this all cut. I cut it into eight. That makes it super easy. And then, you guys, I'm going with a little bit of higher, funnier fire honey. Can't speak, apparently. All right, a little bit of fire honey. And we will get that set. I'm going after this guy right here. That is pizza perfection. Cheers.